Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having an amazing day. So for today's video, I thought I would do this glam golden goddess inspired um, kind of tutorial for you guys. So if you guys want to know how to do this look and create this look, then just keep on watching. Hello my lovelies. So today I'm going to be starting off by doing my eyebrows. I'm nice and bare faced at the moment. So I'm going to be taking the Brow This Way by Rimmel as per usual and I'm taking the pomade side and I'm just using this to basically redefine my eyebrows, give them more shape and also fill in the sparse areas. Um, as you can see me here, I'm just filling in the more sparse areas of my eyebrows and I'm creating an illusion of an arch which I don't probably have a defined arch so I'm basically just doing that and also creating a nicer tail for my eyebrows. Now I'm going to be carving them out with the Master Conceal by Maybelline. This is in the shade Light I'm pretty sure and I'm basically just taking a concealer brush and carving my eyebrows out to make them look way more tidy and defined. I'm then taking the concealer that I just used to cover up my eyebrows and I'm using that as an eye base today so I'm basically just putting that all over my eyelids and then I'm going to blend it out with a beauty blender just so my eyeshadow can blend really seamlessly over top. To set that concealer down I'm going to be taking my all time favourite powder, this is the Australis Fresh and Flawless and I'm just going to set that concealer into place. So first off I'm going to take the shade Sandalwood, it's a really nice um, brown colour for a transition. I really like using this as my transition shade always if I'm using this palette. So I'm basically just going back and forth from inner to outer of my crease, building up the colour. With the step it doesn't really matter if you place the colour a little bit messily, I'm just going back and forth between a clean blending brush and the brush I was using to place the colour. Um, just because it's a transition shade I'm just trying to pack the colour on and to build it up so that the other colors blend nicely on top. I'm now taking the shade Henna. I love this shade. It's got a little bit of a ready undertone to it but it's also a really nice brown so I'm just sweeping that throughout my crease. Basically placing it where I put that transition shade before. I'm doing this to darken up my crease and make the color a lot deeper and nicer so that when I do the cut crease the color in the crease will still be quite bold. Once I've put the shade Henna into place, I like to go in with a clean blending brush and just buff out the edges of that so it's nice and seamless. I'm now going to be taking the shade Coco to deepen up that crease even more. To do this, I'm taking a smaller, more defined, precise blender brush and I'm taking it from the outer to the inner corner of my eye, slightly above where my natural crease socket would be. Then I'm just going back in with that same clean blending brush and I'm just making sure that the edges are nice and seamless and that the colours blend in together really nicely. I'm now going to take that black shade in there and I'm going to place a little bit, like literally taking the smallest amount on that brush and just patting it into place before I start to blend it. I only want a little bit of black um, in this but it was just to really darken it and make it quite smoky. So just like the other shades, I'm starting from the outer and I'm just placing it slightly above my natural crease line and I'm running it from outer to in a corner of my eye. I'm now just taking the leftover of that Maybelline concealer that I still have on the back of my hand and a concealer brush to carefully carve out my cut crease. For the lid colour today I'm taking MAC Gold Glitter and oh my gosh this stuff is so pretty. It is a little bit hard to work with but I got there in the end and I put that all over my lids and it worked out pretty well in the end to be honest. I'm now taking a really small angled detail brush and I'm taking cocoa and also a bit of a black truffle which is the black shade obviously and I'm carving out that crease even more to make it look way more defined. Now I'm doing liner and let me tell you that did not go down well on camera so I basically just did my liner, mascara and eyelashes off camera. Moving along to the face I'm going to be spraying my face with the MAC Fix Plus 
I look so ugly when doing this, it's actually insane. Um, and then I'm going to be taking my Rimmel Long Lasting Breathable Foundation. It has been my favourite foundation of the moment when I'm not wearing fake tan. Um, and I'm just buffing it into my skin with my Beauty Blender. This one is from Real Techniques. So yeah, as I beat my face, because I'm literally bouncing my Beauty Blender so hard on my face right now, Anyway, as I was going to say, um, I really like how this foundation covers up my redness. It's very satisfying to watch considering it's such a light weight and it's pretty medium coverage. It's not too full, nothing too intense. So it does a really good job at covering everything I need it to um, on a day-to-day -day basis as well as doing like a really quite full face glam look. Now taking one of my favourite drugstore concealers, it is the concealer I was using before, the Master Conceal by Maybelline. Um, I've seen this before but it's in the shade Light. I'm just packing it underneath my eyes, my chin, my nose, my forehead and my cupid's bow. This is just to give my skin a bit more coverage and to also cover and conceal any discoloration I may have underneath my eyes and to brighten and highlight my under eye areas and the main places on my face that I want some highlighting. I'm now going to take my RCMA No Colour Powder. This is just a loose powder that I'm going to use to bake with. I'm baking underneath my eyes to set them in place so there's no creasing. And I also put it on my nose, a bit around my forehead and also my laugh lines because I get quite bad creasing in my laugh lines. So I'm just basically doing this to set everything in place. While I have the bake still on my under eyes, I'm going to finish off my lower lash line. I'm firstly taking henna and running that with a fluffy brush from outer to inner corner of my lower lash line. I'm then taking a smaller brush and running cocoa, kind of in the outer third. And finally using an angled brush to really push the black colour right up against my lash line. To set the outer perimeter of my face and dust away that bake, I'm taking the Austral's Fresh and Flawless. I'm pretty sure this is in the shade Deep Natural. So it's a couple shades darker than the ones I would use to highlight the under eyes of my face. And then moving on to bronzer today, I'm taking Hoola by Benefit. It's my all-time favorite bronzer. And I'm just bronzing up underneath my cheekbones and making sure that I look nice and golden and beautiful and bronze because bronzer has literally been my favorite thing to do lately and I'm obsessed with a nice chiseled cheekbone. So not only am I just doing my cheekbones, I'm running it along my temple and forehead and I'm also taking it down below my jawline as well so that my face looks less flat and more defined and it also gives some warmth to the skin. I'm now going to take Bahama Marmal by The Balm and I'm going to use that to contour my face. I love using this to contour my face because it is a more cool toned bronzer, therefore it gives the more defined appeal to my cheekbones. So I'm really chiseling them out and I'm also putting it underneath my lip to make it look more fuller and appear more pouty. I'm now going back in with a little fluffy brush and hula and I'm going to use this to contour my nose just to make it look way more snatched. Anything to do with cheekbones and cheeks lately I've been obsessed with so I'm applying a very generous amount of blush today. This is Milani um, Luminoso. I love it so much. It gives a really nice glowy appeal to the face as well so it is really pretty on the skin. I'm now taking my Australis Fresh and Flawless Powder and I'm just going in with a Beauty Blender. This is in the shade Light Beige and I'm cleaning up my bronzer and contour because I always go a little bit too overboard. Um, so this will just make sure that it is nice and sharp. I'm then going a little bit underneath my eyes as well so that the under eyes are really nice and highlighted and also along the bridge of my nose so that it was also nice and highlighted and makes the nose contour stand out nicely. I'm just using this brush by the way to just clean up and make the nose contour look really good. I'm now applying Too Faced Better Than Sex to my lower lashes and making sure that everything just looks really nice. I'm now taking the MAC Soft and Gentle and lately I've been doing this thing where I'll just slightly tap it in and just run it all over my cheekbones. 
and gives a really glowy, healthy look to the face. So I just do this before I apply any more highlighter. I like to put it on my nose as well and a little bit on my forehead. Now, probably going in with highlighter, I'm taking the same highlighter and just a more dense brush, and I'm popping that on the highest points of my cheekbones, my inner corners, my brow bone, and basically anywhere I just want to be highlighted, uh, especially on the tip of my nose and also on my cupid's bow to make my lips appear more full um, when I put lipstick on. I'm now taking the MAC Liquid Lip in Burnt Spice. This has to be my new favourite. I love to ombre it with Honey Love, which is just a MAC lipstick. So I'm here just carefully um, uh, applying it. And then I also go in and slightly overline my lips a little bit to make them appear fuller. And this colour is really nice, but it also dries down a little bit darker. Um, so that's why I like to put the ombre on it a little bit. This colour is also clearly very loved, so I have to go in with a, um, a brush, but that's okay. So after this step, I basically set my face with the MAC Fix Plus, and then this is the final look. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, and I will hope to see you in my next video. Bye!